Well, hello there, and thank you for stopping by Pete's Garage. Grab your notebook, because today we're going to do an experiment. Oh, by the way, I found out that my new shop security does not like the floor jack. Okay, so here's the experiment. The last video I made was about the difference between an LED headlight and a halogen headlight, which one was better. And from that, I had some awesome comments like usual, but one of them really stood out to me, and that comment was that LED headlights do not run as hot, or they don't heat up, so if you have any snow on your headlight, it won't melt, melt off. So I really started thinking, I said, you know, that's really interesting. I would like to prove that. So today, we're going to do an experiment and test the difference between the light bulb when it's cold and how much it really heats up. What's the temperature difference? So I have three bulbs to test. First our sealed beam H7 bulb. This is a General Electric 2D1. The second bulb will be our halogen bulb. This is a Sylvania HB4 9006 bulb. And we have an HB3 9006 series LED bulb. First we'll do our sealed beam bulb and make sure we're all at the starting temperature. The starting temperature of this bulb is 60.2 degrees. Now I'll turn it on for five minutes. Five minutes later. All right, after five minutes, let's see where it's at. Reset it to zero. Okay, and we'll get 98.9, a change of 38.7 degrees. Now we'll test the halogen. Make sure we're starting at roughly the same point. And the starting point for this one is 62 degrees. We'll turn this one on for five minutes. All right, after five minutes, let's give this one a shot. All right. I'm going to take a couple ones here. All right. Whoops. 100. I think I had 103. Okay, 102. From 62 to 102, change of 40 degrees. Now for the LED, we'll check our starting temperature. And it's 57.6 degrees. Now we'll turn this on for five minutes. Okay, after five minutes, let's check our LED. The first measurement was 57.6. And now it's 60.8, a change of 3.2 degrees. Now those are some pretty interesting results. The standard sealed beam bulb and a halogen bulb are pretty close. 38.7 and 40 within two, two degrees of each other. That's, that's pretty close. But that LED at only 3, what was it, 3.2 degrees, that's significantly lower. It's 30, what, 36, 35 degrees. 37 degrees lower than a halogen or a sealed beam light. So now I'm really thinking, what is the surface temperature of that bulb when it's fully heated up? So, well, I can't take the sealed beam apart and test the filament, but I can take an LED light and a halogen light, put some power to it, and see how hot it really gets outside of the vehicle. Okay, now here's our next experiment. I have a halogen bulb here hooked up to a 12 volt power source, and let's see what the temperature is of just a halogen bulb. It's right at about 64 and a half, 65 degrees. The max reading was 65.4. 65.4. Okay, now I'm going to turn it on and it's going to get hot really fast and I'll measure the temperature. Okay, that heats up pretty quick. That's really bright and I'm going to try and measure the temperature here and it's going to be tough because I can't really see where the laser is pointed. So I'm going to try and do the best I can here. Let's see what we got. i got to put my hand behind it to try and find the laser pointer. It's really difficult. Try it again. See what we got? Okay, so our max measurement there was 245.5 degrees. That thing right now is 250 degrees at the filament. This is why, let me shut this back off. 
This is why when you install a halogen bulb, you don't want to put your fingers on there because if you put your fingers on there and touch it, grease from your fingers will get on that glass that is so hot that the oil will be concentrated, can create a hot spot and cause those bulbs to blow out. Now let's test an LED. Now we'll do the same thing with the LED bulb and it has a little power pack that goes along with it for the power reduction. And sitting there cold, it's right at 65 looks like 65.1 degrees and let's turn this one on and that is incredibly bright I'm gonna have a hard time finding this one let it heat up here's the interesting thing this is only draw drawing 0.4 amps versus the uh, halogen which was drawing close to 4 so it's drawing considerably current less current so let's uh I'm have to, again I have to have a hard time seeing but let me see if I can get this let me see if I can do this again. Okay, got it right on there. Okay, taking a bunch of measurements here just to see if I can get it more accurate. I'm like right on that LED. I'm right on it. It looks like my max measurement is 67.6. .6. So this runs really cool, really cool. No matter how many times I test it, 68.9. 68.9 is the hottest. As a matter of fact, I can touch that. It's cool. Not going to burn me at all. So that, that does run a lot cooler. So as you can see, the halogen bulb does burn a lot hotter than an LED light. And the question is, where does all that heat go? How can I produce all of that light with an LED bulb without the heat? Well, physics law of conservation of energy says that energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be turned from one form to another. So heat has to be turned into light. Light can, cannot be turned back into heat because of photons. And light can exist without heat. However, Let's take a closer look at the LED to see why it runs cooler. And yeah, for anybody who asks, that's Frank snoring in the background. Now the interesting question in my mind is how can you produce so much light without producing heat? Well, an LED will run cooler than a traditional filament light bulb. However, heat is produced and is controlled. This is a metal base and you can see these huge fins on here which acts as heat sinks. Not only that, on the back of an LED bulb is a fan. This fan, watch, I'll turn it back on and you'll see the fan turn on. So we have a cooling fan there, which blows across the heat sink. Blows across this heat, I'll cover this up so it's not so bright. Actually, I'll turn it off. Blows across this heat sink and keeps this cool. Interesting. Now you can buy an LED light with or without a fan. This one has a fan in it. So, while this produces more uh, brightness, it does produce heat and that heat is dissipated through a cooling fan and through the metal uh, heat sink base. So that's an interesting test right there. I really love doing stuff like that to find out what the difference is. Now here's the real question. This is what it all boils down to. The comment about LEDs running cooler so they don't melt the snow on your headlights. I'm not sure that's a bad thing because if you ever lived in the climate or you live in a climate where there's snow, ice, something builds up on your uh, headlights or your windshield, you know, when it's cold outside, you just go and you wipe the snow off and it comes right off. As you're driving, and if it's snowing, you turn your defrosters on and you have heat blowing on your windshield. As the heat's blowing on the windshield, it's melting that snow. That snow refreezes, it turns to ice. Now you have ice on your windshield as the windshield wiper is going across. It leaves a path. It can't clean the snow. So you're actually creating ice by heating it up. Same thing goes for your headlight. If I have a headlight and a halogen lamp in my headlight, and it heats up and it melts the snow on the headlight, I'm creating water and ice that's going to flow and it's going to cause a problem. So maybe it's better to let it be cool, never create the ice in the first place, so you, you'll have an easier time keeping your headlights clean and you won't have to scrape ice off. It's almost winter here, started to snow a little bit, uh, maybe I'll report on that. But if you have any experience with that, put a comment below and let everybody know because we're all here to help everybody. Thanks for stopping by Pizza Garage.